All right, guys, what's up and welcome to the video. So here today I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and um, update the SPRX menus for GTA that are already in the GTA tool. I'm also going to show you how to add new ones, whether they're free or paid, doesn't matter. I'm also going to show you um, how to maybe delete the ones you don't want to use and how to do a few other things. Please make sure that you've... Um, installed the latest GTA tool which is version 2.2 as some of you may know version 2.0 had some issues but 2.2 fixed those issues and that's the one that we are going to be using here today also strongly recommended that you test all the Sprix menus for GTA first before you put them in here make sure that they work to your liking online offline whatever once you can confirm that they work then go ahead gather them up together and Let's get started and go into the file manager. Now we are going to go uh, into root. Now what I like to do here is I go into the dev HDD0 and I'll make, if you're doing this in your PS3, I make a workspace because it's a lot easier. Basically it's just an empty folder. So you can go up here to this top white bar or whatever, hit circle, press create a new folder and just call it workspace like I did right here. I put a one in front of it, that way is right at the top. Believe me, it's not going to hurt anything. You could even leave it there for the future. It's, it's not going to do anything bad to your PS. I'm going to go ahead and go into it, and as you can see, it's blank. Now we're going to go back into PS3 root. We're going to go into dev HDD0. We're going to go into game, the game folder, all lowercase. And now we're going to look for the GTA tool, which is KMZ GTA TUL. And we're going to go in there. Now we're going to go into the USR DIR folder, and let's do a side. Let's let's just do a side trip here real quick. Let's go into the data folder. If you go into the images folder, here for those of you using an HDMI, which should be pretty much everybody, if you go into the 1080p, this background PNG, that's the background to the tool. See, so um, you can replace that with any image you want, as long as it's the size is 1920 by 1080 and it's in PNG format, and it has to be named exactly like this. If you want to keep this one here, just put like a one in front of it or something, or type the word original on it or somewhere, and you can just keep it here so you know it's the original one. And you can replace it with anything else you want. All right, so now that we've done that, let's back out. You can use the left, left on your D-pad to back out here. And this time, instead of data, we're going to go into apps. Now you'll notice immediately when we go into apps, when you go into the GTA tool, what you see in that first screen is all of this right here. You see that? This is what you're seeing. So our focus right now is going to be in the menus. But I had to break up the menus into three parts. So here is how this works. Uh, we're going to put the Kex menus up here in this top one that are meant for Kex or Dex. And then Dex specific only menus will go into either the Dex only part one or part two. So grab your... Uh, SPRX menus, gather them up all in one place. I put mine here on a USB. So I'm going to go into PS3 root and USB. And I'm going to go into update and new menus. That's where I put them. And here they are. I just threw them each in their own folder, just threw them in there uh, for right now. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I know that um, in uh, which one? Uh, Randiums is 1.51. This is an update. I know it works for Kex and Dex. So what I'm going to do is, since it works for Kex and Dex, and again, if it works for Kex, you know it's going to work for Dex as well. We're going to go here to the first one where it says Kex or Dex, right? And it's already there. There it is. Randiums 1.3. I'm going to go in it. I'm going to go into this folder, which directs it to where to go. And then um, I'm going to take the GTA Sprix here. I'm going to hit Circle. I'm going to highlight Delete, and I'm just going to delete it. Now here I'm going to come to my USB window, I'm going to come to the randiums, and it's already named gta.sprx, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to hit circle, I'm going to paste it, hit yes, and there we go. And pretty much we just updated that folder. Now we're going to hit left on the D-pad to back out a couple of times, we're going to come here to randiums, right, press X on it once, and then we're just going to go to rename. And now we're just going to rename it to 
All right, and that's it. There we go, that one's updated. Let's go back to the USB. Now, Infernus and Salfetti are ones that are already there and they need to be updated. So I'm gonna come here, but they're only DEX. So I know they're here. Let me look, I don't know exactly where they're at, so let's look inside of part one. All right, and there's Infernus right here. So let's go into it, go into this folder. We're gonna delete the GTA Spricks that's already there. Okay, now we're gonna go into this Infernus. I'm gonna grab it, it's already named GTA.Sprix. If it's not, just rename it to GTA, capital GTA.SPRX. And the SPRX needs to be lowercase. We're gonna hit copy, come here. We're gonna paste it into the uh, Sprix folder inside of the tool. And now we're gonna back out a couple of times and there we go. Now we're gonna go to Infernus, rename it, and we're gonna call it Infernus 3.3. By the way, I've already tested all of these out, so that's why I'm putting them in here. So now I'm gonna go back to the USB tool. I'm gonna go to Salfetti, and this one has not been renamed, so let's look for Salfetti. So it's not here. Notice there are 10 entries here. In any of these, you wanna make sure Try not to exceed 15 entries or so. Uh, people are texting me. Try not to exceed 15 uh, entries, okay? If you do, you can always come out here and just add another folder. Call it, you know, one Sprix Menus Dex Only Part 3 and start putting them in there. Um, let's go into Part 2. And um, where is it? Where is it? Right there. Let's go into it, into that. We're going to delete it. Now let's go to my USB window. And now this is the actual Sprix file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy it the way it is. I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna paste it into the tool, but I'm gonna rename it. So we're gonna rename, and it already says gta.sprix there. So we're gonna go there, bring this out here. There we go. Now we just need to rename Salfetti out here. Okay. And this is 2.7 now. Boom. All right. And that's it. We've just updated three menus. Now, if you go to my USB um, out here, you'll notice that there's legendary SPRX. Apparently, this is a clone and a pretty damn good one of that paid menu called Sam Jesses or Sam Jesses, whatever the hell it's called. You know which one I'm talking about. So um, this is kind of a clone of that. All right, so this is where the work window is going to come in handy, the workspace, all right? where This is a menu, and it could be your paid menu. Like, you know, one you have paid, a free one, it doesn't matter what it, what it is. So I do know that it only works on Dex, so we're going to add it here, right? We can add it into the same one, or you could add it to your part one. It, it doesn't matter which one. We have 10 entries in each one, so we, have in, we can do five more in each one, so it doesn't really matter. So let's do it in part one. All right, so this is the easiest thing to do. Let's just copy, since it only works in DEX, we're gonna copy any DEX menu. Let's do that one. Let's hit copy. We're gonna come here to this workspace window. We're gonna hit space, uh, paste and paste it. Now we're gonna go in it. We're gonna go into this folder. We're gonna delete that one. Remember, this is just a copy. So now we're gonna go into legendary. And there's, oh man, my phone's blowing up. And now we're going to copy this, this SPRX file. We're going to paste it into our workspace, right? And now we have to rename it. So we're just going to rename it. Um, let's go here. Let's make sure it's capital G, capital T, capital A. Let's make sure the dot is there right there boom okay let's come back out here because when we hit start it might put a space okay now it's called gta strix now we're going to back out a couple of times and we're going to rename this to legendary sprx i don't know what the thing is to open it but it's not necessary to put it there make sure it says all dash dex dash leave that dash there and let's just put legendary now i already did it so here it is legendary all right, and then we're going to type SPRX, and there it is. I had already typed it before. That's why it's there. If not, you can just type it, and then let's hit start. Now, all we're going to do is 
we're going to go ahead and just copy that whole entire folder. We're going to go back to our tool here where it says Dex Only Part 1, and we're just going to paste it there. And boom, that's it. That simple. You just added your own menu. Now when we go into the tool, this legendary SPRX will be selectable, and it will install just fine, right? And that's it. That's all you got to do. It's that easy, guys. Okay, guys, so that's it. I'm going to close up all these windows. Let's go ahead. Let's start. Let's go back to the XMB. Let's start up the tool, and I'll meet you at the main menu to see our results. All right, so back at the main menu. Remember, I have the DEX only things showing right here, these two DEX options, because I'm in DEX mode. So um, the Sprix menus, Kex or DEX, that's for everyone. So let's go there. We only did one thing there, which was update the randiums or yeah randiums from 1.3 to 1.51 and there it is right there and if you just want to press X and just hit yes here it'll insert it and if it says okay it's great um, if there was an issue it would have given you some type of error so we know we're good there so everything else happened in DEX let's go into DEX part one I believe here um, we did we added legendary SPRX, which was a, a brand new menu, and there it is right there. You can just press X and hit yes if you want to make sure that you know it goes in okay. All it's doing is overriding the other one. So there we go. So it went in okay. So we know that's good. All right, and we go back into part one. There's the infernus right there at the bottom, the 3.3. And in part two, um, I believe all we did was update um, the Salfetti, and there it is right there, version 2.7. Right. So that's it. Everything we did took, and we're good to go. So that's how you add menus. That's how you update menus. Oh, and of course, for those of you that haven't done so already, don't forget to install the eBoot. You only really need to do this one time. Install the eBoot here from option two. Otherwise, of course, your SPRX menus will not launch. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. And be on the lookout because my next release is actually going to be a tool like this, but it's going to be generic. I'm going to show you how to install multiple eBoots from multiple different games as well as multiple uh, mod menus so you can have a bunch of mod menus to a bunch of different games all in one tool and you can install them super easy. Be on the lookout. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time.